Hey YouTube, how's it going? Squint here. Um, so today I wanted to kind of go over a couple of padlocks that I just recently got from work. Um, I'm pretty excited about some of them because they are U.S. stamped, and uh, you know that's that's what I kind of look for. Um, I got this nice little. Uh, I have a few of these. Um, it's a Master 575. I haven't picked these open yet. I've just been cleaning them up a little bit. Some of them had rust on them, but. Yeah, so I got me another, another, another 575. Works real good, key retaining. Um, pretty nice little locks. Got a security pin or two inside of them. So I got a bidding on that one. Pretty decent pretty decent bidding on that number one. So so that was cool. It's not stamped US, but you know, it's another lock. Um, I haven't never seen one of these before, but like I said, I haven't been doing this that long. But um, I came across this master lock. It is actually a master number two. Um, yeah, it was in the package. The guys, the locksmiths, gave it to me and, and said, yeah, you can have it. It's a master number two. Looks just like the master number one. But it's brass. So I thought it was pretty cool. Um, in comparison to like a master number three, you can see instead of having the shiny it's a brass body, so that was pretty cool. But it's a master number two. Never seen that before. That was pretty cool. Um, and then I got this uh, U.S. stamped pack lock. Uh, I've had a couple of these before. You can see the U.S. U.S. stamp on it. Pack lock. I think these were used for mail bags. Um, that's where these guys came from. Um, but it had a pretty rusted up. You can see it's pretty rusted up in there, but the key goes in and works. Um, so I was pretty excited about getting this one. Uh, not a bad little bidding on it. Definitely has security pins in it. And then finally I got this American lock. Um, it's an all brass body. It's got the US stamp on it. Uh, I'll have to look it up. I'm not too sure. I'm um, still kind of stiff. It also had to get some cleaning up. You can see some of the... I've been oiling it up and trying to clean all the rust and stuff out of there. But Yeah, so... Uh, those were some of the locks that I got uh, just recently here at work. Oh, there's the bidding on that little master lock or the American lock. Um, I haven't tried to pick any of them yet, but they're still in the wood phases of getting cleaned up. But since I have since I have the camera on and and uh, looking to do a little picking, let's. Uh, I ha I've never picked one of these. Um, I, have not, I haven't opened it up. I just got this from K1 Locks. Um, you can see it works real good. It is a Master Pro Series. I think it says 6835. Um, let's see. Yeah, it looks like the core comes out. It's not riveted. It's kind of. There's the bidding on it. Not too terrible. Uh, let's go with the bottom of the keyway. I might try to pick this in my hand real quick. See how bad it is. All right, let me see if I can zoom you guys in. I'm definitely on the wrong side for picking in my hand. I have to pick it upside down for you guys so you guys can see. All right, let's see if we can get it open. I'm not like I said, I'm not sure. No, that's not gonna work. Yeah, let's we'll just throw it in the vise. Not on the right side to have it go correctly out of my hand, so all right. We're gonna use some bottom of the keyway tension. It's a real tight keyway. Uh, I'm gonna use this little bicycle spoke type um, tension wrench from uh, the Praxis kit and use an 18 thousandths gem. All right, let's see what we can get. Three's binding up. And if I can even get my pick out, put tension on it and it won't. Okay, got a nice little thud off of one, two, a little counter on three. There we go. Alright, looks 
like we just got our got it open on four. It definitely felt like it had some security pins in there. So let's go see what we got inside. Master Pro. Knock that one off the list. Nice little uh nice little padlock. Definitely felt like it had some security pins in it. Let's see if we can get this thing open. It's got a funky little uh it's not a screw. Yeah, that'll fit. Alright. Alright, there's the bottom plate. Alright, there's the core. Nothing too major. Alright, let's see what we got. Well, we got the key. So let's look about locking this thing back up. Like I said, I'm not sure if this is a challenge locker or if this is the actual um, way that these guys are supposed to be. I got this from K1 Locks. Didn't really have a note or anything in it. Definitely had some feedback in the lock though. Alright, now I gotta find my real small. There we go. Let's go ahead and do this just to be safe. There's a little lip on the back. And I don't wanna. There we go. I think we're close. Oof. Oh, I dropped some. All right. Well, all good. It's all good. There are a couple of spools that dropped out of there. At least they're both the same type. I think it was towards the front of the lock. But they're just tiny, tiny fellas. I think that was going to be one. Got a spool. And two had a spool. Alright, it's a little five pin. Looks like it has the capability of being six pins. Let's go ahead and dump them out and see what we got. Standard in one. Standard. 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 And standard. I forgot, you know, how tiny these pins are in some of these in some of these locks. I get used to picking those door locks and all right yep number one is empty number two is empty so we know those spools are correct all right we got another spool and three another little copper spring Chamber six was empty. We got a uh, looks to be a little serrated. I guess they want to call that serrated, but that is definitely not too serrated. And the last one we have is another spool. All right, so doesn't look like it's a challenge lock. Looks like it's just a uh, a. Uh, Padlock that K1 Lock sent me, but I do appreciate it. It was still a fun pick. Look at all, I mean, there's a lot of spools in there. You got one, two, four spools, and then a serrated. Yeah, okay. So I'll see, let you guys see these real quick. That was the pins in a Master Pro. 
Series 68. 68.35. All right. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll be on to the next lot. Thanks, guys.